二零一九年世界飞安高峰会首度移师台北举办，由美国世界飞安基金会和中华航空事业发展基金会共同扮演东道主的角色。在十一月四号到六号，在台北文华东方饭店邀请来自全球三十七个国家、一百三十八个飞安单位和超过三百五十名飞安专业人士，共同讨论重要飞安议题。这三天会议中，一共有十一场专题演讲，内容包含全球飞行安全分析、危机和风险控管、飞行安全资料分析、飞行员训练标准等。由于各国民航体系法规和航空产业间仍存在不小差异，飞安高峰会也让各国航空产业能分享自己独特的经验，以促进全球航空产业间的交流和进步。There are several reasons for it. A small mistake on the plane could be for on the EM side, could be for the operator side, could be triggered. Another unknown mistakes as a bug on the softwares on the computers of the plane. So that is why Channel Airlines we adopt these multiple channels of communication. We don't put all the eggs in one basket. So. Uh, the information be divided into two categories. One, information mandatory to all pilots. Then we publish them via some official vehicles simultaneously, including FOIs, which means the pilots have to study before they get on board. The other category will be information less important or urgent, so as to, in this、uh, way, that we can assure effective and successful. Information 就是看到这几天讨论非常的的踊跃哈，就关于备案的这个课题哈，包括这次谈到了波音七三七 MAX 的这些课题，决策的一些辅助系统哈，还有把 AI 导入到这个整个非常安全的，有非常多的琢磨哈。除了探讨飞安议题外，波音、空中巴士、巴西航太、劳斯莱斯等赞助商也是本次飞安高峰会中的亮点。波音更期望透过这次的高峰会，再次重申对飞安的坚持。As a long-time、uh, supporter of the Flight Safety Foundation, you know, IASS is an opportunity for safety professionals like myself to come together and really reinforce what are some of the right Thinking around safety and how we should be thinking about safety going forward, and learning from some of these events that have occurred. But really, how do we move forward with a proactive safety management system? 这次会议中虽然不见中国籍航空公司和国际民航组织 ICAO 的踪影，但整体会议表现仍瑕不掩瑜。下一年度飞安高峰会将移到法国巴黎举办。主办单位除了相约各国贵宾明年见之外，也期望各国继续为飞行安全严格把关。